Okay, guys. Um, anyway, so that's pretty much, that was the hospital stay. Um, hopefully we don't have any more hospital stays for a while. I've never had to be actually admitted to the hospital with either one of my kids, but I guess it's kind of payback for um, my mom <laughs> I, and me growing up. So um, now I know exactly the way my mom felt. My mom stayed with me every night. Um, cause Rusty still, his work is pretty strict, um, and we have to have him working. I mean, there's, there's, it's tough. So, plus, Carson had to still be taken care of. So, Rusty was kind of back and forth. Um, he spent a lot of time at the hospital, but as far as overnight goes, that was the only rule about us sharing a bed was that I wasn't allowed to leave her by herself, which I wouldn't have anyways. Not even to go to the bathroom. So, my mom stayed with me, um every night and helps me out which was a great help um, and we had no issues uh, in the hospital she really good so um, yeah that was our stay and I hope we don't have any more like it so um, let's see uh, breastfeeding a year with Paisley that is it's awesome um, I breastfed my son for two years and now starts the people are questioning and you know the second time around it's a lot easier because I got a lot of questions with Carson uh, when I nursed him such as oh you're still nursing or how long are you gonna do that for and you know um, things like that not really judging but people people in my family like because they didn't know and nobody in my family has nursed I it, it's me <laughs> and that's it so I was formula fed as a kid so that's what my mom is familiar with and so were all my siblings uh, my mom was formula fed my in-laws my husband my sister-in-law everybody so nobody they were really more just asking out of curiosity like just wondering so um, I answer I got all those questions out of the way with Carson um, and it was a big deal my family whether they agree or not, have on the outside been very supportive. Um, it's been, it's been good. You know, I get some questions from, um, or got some questions. Really, nobody's asked me anything about Paisley because I think they they learned through Carson that it's just it's not up for discussion um, as far as criticizing goes. Now I'm always willing to answer questions to help uh, educate or spread some, you know, just random FYI knowledge, but they don't, um, you know, how long are you going to do that for? Just, they don't ask out of judging, they just genuinely ask, and I always just answered with whenever he's done. Um, now, I, I could go into his weaning story, it was, we did it, you know, no tears or anything like that, it was very gentle weaning process, um, and it was more encouraged rather than demanded. Uh, I didn't force him to wean. Uh, I just kind of maybe suggested the idea to him. Um, but as far as Paisley goes, I'm going to do the same thing with her. I have no need to stop. I can't even imagine life right now if I stop nursing. This house will flip upside down. Um, she is very dependent on it. She, um, by age one, Carson was nursing. Um, probably three times a day just when he got up uh, Now I was working with him so it might be different I did I was a working mom with him he would I would nurse him before we left in the morning uh, nurse him when I got home from work first thing uh, I don't care if he just had a bottle he would he would want to eat or had just eaten because he was off the bottle by then um, he would want to eat as soon as I walked in the door kind of like a oh my god mom where have you been all day um, and then to bed he would nurse and then of course overnight but as far as daytime and nursing in public and things like that he I could I could still distract that kid with anything and he'll just move on to whatever so he's not a very um, he's not very stubborn at all so he's very distractible um, I could always you know if he asked to nurse in public and I, I didn't want to at that point because of his age or whatever I mean I would if he absolutely was like just breaking down it was the only option I had I wouldn't care a thing in the world I would just nurse him but he would like I said he's very uh, entertainable <laughs> he's very distractible uh, I would just be like let's go play you know over here or here look at this or here have a cracker and he'd be okay with that um, 
But he, he was so very demanding. Now, Paisley, if she's got her mind to it and she wants to nurse, I mean, she is like pulling at my shirt, num, 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 num. I mean, she's like freaking out. So I do nurse her in public, but she's, she'll tolerate the shield still. So, you know, it's whatever. I don't really care what other people think about it in public because I'm pretty sure they would rather me, you know, answer my child and feed it rather feed her it <laughs> feed her rather than listen to her scream because they're gonna bitch about that too so you know whatever so um but as far as Paisley I will continue to nurse her um I definitely plan to get to 18 months I don't plan on stopping before then and um I'll nurse until she's two or if she's still like this and high demands and high spirited nurser then um uh, I guess we'll go on I, I don't have any fears about it there's no uh there's no problems with it, so I don't see a reason to fix anything. Um, so, uh, yeah, and if I happen to get pregnant in the meantime, then I'll just keep on nursing, just like I did with Carson. He nursed through 22 weeks of Paisley's pregnancy, and it was fine. So, um, I know some people have issues with it, like physically their bodies can't tolerate like nursing and being pregnant, but I never had any issues. So. It's not really a problem. I, I don't tend to get my cycles back till really late, which sucks when you want to try to conceive, but we're not really in a hurry. We just kind of, you know, the, the natural spacing of our two now kind of worked out at two and a half years apart, and, you know, that was, it's worked out great. So, you know, we'll just keep on doing what we're doing. Um, so, and I, you know, yeah, I mean, we'd, we'd uh, my midwife actually moved kind of farther away but I'm I'll probably get into that in a different video what we would what our plans would be um, if we got pregnant but um, yeah we're definitely open to more we're definitely you know they're not out of the question um, so we'll see what happens um, yeah let's see uh, I'm trying to think of anything else without wasting all my time but I can't think of anything, so if you have any questions, just leave them as a comment, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.